Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any meat, do you? <laughs> Just kidding. Unless you do. <laughs> you and Svedkar are to resume your duties as Jarl Agnar's house carls. That bastard Ingvar up to something? <sighs> we knew this would happen someday. Tell Agna that we will prepare, then head down there. See ya. Oh, I don't have to speak with the other one? Okay, I wasn't sure because both of them were marked. I wonder if there's any... Well, I wonder what the other one says. Does he say anything? Nah, he's busy. Too busy for me? Alright, I guess so. Fine. I don't want to talk to you anyway. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is it's going simple, on here? And I'll only ask one more time. Let us search, and then we'll leave. You will do no such thing. I don't know what you're up to, Ingvar. But you will leave my people be. You will let us search? Or else. Or else what? Go back to Stalgard, Ingvar. You are not welcome here. Leave me and my people in peace. I'll be back, and you'll regret this. Your whole town will. Got sick of Stalgard already? Here on vacation, are we? Shut up, both of you. Svegard, Ulgar. It's good to see you two again. Indeed. It has been too long, my friend. How may we serve you, my king? Svegard, we have been over this. Sorry. How may we be of assistance, Agnar? Ingvar is up to something. No, really. <laughs> Big surprise there. He demanded to search the town, and has mobilized his entire army. His entire army? He is up to something for sure. Oh, is that Brother Thurlow over there? I fear he may make a move on Amber Creek, or Borwald. I think you two need to be here. Of course, Agnar. Our swords are yours. Very good. Then we must figure out what... Brother Torlo? You can see him? Have you decided to help? <laughs> You're not even looking at him! Bastard. What happened? He came to the Priory, demanding to search the place. We let him search the main temple. And when he wanted to search the private quarters, Brother Colin stepped in. His men simply killed him. And searched the place anyway. They tore it apart. We buried him, cleaned up, and grabbed our weapons. We were to remain neutral until provoked. And Ingvar just hit the beehive with the stick. Wherever you need us. We sons of Shore will be there! May Brother Collins be guided swiftly to Sovngarde. I am glad you decided to fight. This may be worse than we thought. What could Ingvar possibly want? He tried to search the Priory and then Amber Creek. Why hasn't he touched Borvald? Borvald? Either he has already been there, or he is headed there now. Jarl Varfred must be warned. Then we aren't leaving your side. You're in too much danger. Olgar is right. And I must stay to mourn. And to think. That just leaves our friend here. Oh, hi. Certainly our kinsman is up to the task. Hmm? That I am. That just leaves you. We'll stay here and look at guard reports. Maybe we can figure out exactly what Ingvar wants. Go to Borwald. The city on the plateau to the east. It's been locked down due to the increased bandit activity, but his housecarl should let you in. 
Tell him what has happened. We are on the brink of war. One that could be bigger than any this land has seen before. Warn Jarl Valfred. Time is of the essence. Now go! What if this is when I had decided to do all the side quests? And I said, okay, time is of the essence. Ah, but I need to find these berries. I need to get this ring made for someone. I need to make this armor reforged. Would Ingvar really attack Borvald? It wouldn't be the first time his family has done something like this. In the war a hundred years ago, they tried to take the city. Fortunately, it was later in the war, and Sevedil's Bor Valdur had his army prepared for the attack. However, if Ingvar attacks now, Jarl Valfred will be completely unprepared. Borvald is in very great danger. Safe travels. Then off we go. Uh, nearest marker to Borvald. Probably the Rinalda farmstead. <laughs> Borvald discovered. The city is in lockdown by Jarl Valfred's order. What makes you think I'd let you in? I have news from Agnar that must be delivered to Jarl Valfred immediately. Hmm, very well. I'll show you to Jarl Valfred. Follow me, please. We have a visitor for Jarl Valfred. Open the gates. Follow me. I really like... The look of Borvald. Like, I know it's just white run architecture, but the way that it is uh, configured and laid out, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. If anything, I like seeing those assets uh, reused. I like seeing them used a little bit more. Different configurations makes the place feel different. And I just, uh, I wish more had been done with Borvald. So that's why I'm looking forward to when the Falskar uh, rebuilt mod does come out eventually. Hello? Jarl? I hope he's not sleeping or something. That would be a little awkward. Okay, no. Oh, you look very, just, very normal. <laughs> he's like, excuse me? I look what? I'm Jarl Valfred. Is there something I can help you with? Ingvar is raising an army and looking for something. I figured that's what was happening. I've had my city sealed because these damn bandits are everywhere and killing my people. It would be Ingvar. Damned Ungvaldir's up to something again. Can't they just leave us be? You said he was looking for something. Do you know what? Nobody searched Balin Priory and tried to search Amber Creek. Hmm. I don't like what this implies. I think I may know what he's after, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. Especially not this one. You got a guest. Yalvalfred, sir. The city is under siege. It's the bandits. They've breached the gates. Damn it. We don't have much time. Goran, grab our weapons and let's go. Already have them. Ingvar has the nerve to attack my city! This is certainly the start of another damn war. You have to go and tell Agnar. Ingvar is either desperate for power, or has already a lot of it. We have to get you out of the city so you can get help from Agnar. Let's go. <laughs> it just looks like he's gonna kill me for some reason. Come on! Alright, I'm following you. No, I'm... I'm here to follow you, sir. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me it's gonna be the same issue that I had with, um... Okay. Woo! No, 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 keep going, keep going. I was gonna say, it seems like it's gonna be the same issue I had... Oh, doing the Dreams in Oblivion quest. I need you... to go. 
Maybe if I go outside, he'll follow. Okay, he did. That's good. Oh, I just hit the citizen of Borvald because I was trying to hit the Argonian, then he moved forward. Ooh, I hope I'm not in trouble. Uh, they all look the same. Everyone looks the same. It's not my fault. Why are the citizens? Out. The citizens should be in their homes. Why? You're gonna cut me with your own knife. Oh, you're gonna cut me? Alright, where to? No, no, where are you going? I'm following you guys, come on. Oh, is he just- oh, he's gonna hop down. We all going this way? Oh, yeah, we are. I love the little hippity-hop animation they do in jumping down something. No, keep- keep hippity-hopping. There you go. Oh. See, this is upsetting. Borvald is a really, really nice-looking area. And now it's just on fire. The first time we see it, just boom, on fire. You snuck that one in? Very much like Kavach in that sense. Like I remember one time when I was playing Oblivion, I did just go to Kavach before the attack, before the Oblivion gets attacked. And it's very similar to this, where there's just nothing there. Like, the city's there, but there's nothing to do. There's no one to talk to. There's a secret exit we can take. Let's go! Oh, it's still, it's still stealing if I steal from the, uh, uh, the shop. It makes sense. I get it. Alright, here's the crypts. Come on now, we have to get out of here! Do you think we're safe in here? Oh, that's locked. Or at least I can't open it. There are too many bandits topside. I don't want any following you in. I'll stay behind and hold them off. But Gorn, you can't just- No goddamn time to argue. Now go! Very well then. We should go if we don't want his death to be in vain. Hey, I believe in him. He can take the bandits. I believe he's gonna hold them off. How dare you immediately dismiss him and say, Ah, oh, well, he's dead. Ah, oh, well, he's gone. Who's there? Oh, no. Oh, he rushed. He rushed through the door. Shows them to attack Borvald. Oh, he did not wait at all. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe there'll be some Draugr down here to kill the bandits. <laughs> there you are. No. I'm not that lucky. Take this! Get out of this You'll have to do better than that. I want to give the Jarl some armor. Like, he's very, very squishy right now. Like, the Jarl is an arrow away from dying. Why do you guys have so much cheese in the crypt? <laughs> do you see this? They got a lot of cheese here. <laughs> what a tribute. It's just the cairn made of cheese. Look at this. You want to talk about that? No? You want to ignore it? Okay. Now, where was that door? Hmm. Ah, yes. Here it is. Let's keep moving.
Fortunately, since that was a hidden door, I don't think there will be any bandits down here. I think we're safe. Also, I'm just gonna be safe and safe. Just in case of anything. Oh, there's something on there! By the divines! What is that? You two are too late if you're here to stop me. The key is mine. Ingvar will get the heart of the gods, and he will rule all of you! Wait, from the song? Of course. The heart of the gods. Ingvar must have found it. That's what he's looking for. This is very, very bad. Come on, we must hurry. The problem is, I was looking at that and saying, Ooh, what's that? I heard Yal Valfred say, By the gods, what's that? And I turned around to look at him, and by the time I turned back around, Colgrim had already <laughs> snuck in. It was like, yoink, I'm taking this. Oh, it's my bad. Who is that? What do we have here? Yes, the noose! We've got trouble over here. <laughs> we do have trouble over here. Take this! We do have a little trouble. Thank you for noticing. Oh, I hit the Jarl. I'm sorry. My Jarlness, you stood in front of me. My Jarlness, you ran in front of me. Are they going to blow up the city? Oh, yeah. I don't like that they um made this campfire so close to the oil. Like, what if it just... One spark. One... Stray Ember. Like, the the bandits are still in here. We have to keep moving. I agree, but I was waiting for you. I didn't know if you had anything you wanted to say. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he was following. We have to keep moving. I didn't say anything. Careful! I'm being oh, careful. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm careful. Come on now, we have to get out of here. We, we got out. The way out of here. Now go on, you have to jump. It's the only way you'll survive. Tell Agna that Ingvar's going for the heart of the gods. He'll understand. Now I'll hold these guys off for as long as I can. Now jump. No, you come with me. You come with me, your guy, Goran, he is giving Honey, his life already. I can't distract them forever! No, come with me! Jarl! There's no reason for you to die. Come with us. Your house Carl is giving his life for you already. I want him to come with me. I want him to jump. Oh, also the the waterfall pushed me off. Oh, before I could even jump, the waterfall just pushed me. Jarl! Jarl? I mean, he's still alive. The marker's still pointing to him. So he's still up there. He's still doing something. Imagine if the waterfall pushed him off too and he said, Oh, okay. I guess I survived too. So much for that. Oh, the game crashed! Oh. It's a good thing there was an autosave when I stepped back into Falscar Hold then. We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving. This is it. The way out of here. Tell Agna that Ingvar's going for the heart of the gods. He'll understand. Now, I'll hold these guys off for as long as I can. Now, jump! Alright, and let me just very quickly get to solid ground and fast travel. Not sure if it would crash again, I just don't want to take any chances. But I vaguely remember that being an issue, is that I did get crashes at that one specific point uh, when I played back on Skyrim Legendary Edition years and years ago. It's also still giving me two markers. 
Yeah, it's still saying jump off the pond. I'm hoping that just kind of resolves itself once this quest finishes. It should at least, because then it wouldn't be marked anymore. Have you spoken to Valfred yet? About that. Ingvar's men attacked Borvald and have destroyed it. The Jarl, Goran, they're all dead. What? That son of a... Did you talk to Valfred before the attack? We found out that Ingvar is trying to get the heart of the gods. He... He has found the heart, then. We've been searching for hundreds of years. And just what exactly is this heart of the gods? Long ago, when we came to this land, our people were dying. The whole island was rigid and freezing cold. It is now known as Olaf's journey. During it, he met an avatar of Shore named Achring Being, who tore out its heart and gave it to Olaf. He used it to transform the southern half of Falskar into the warm, habitable region it is today. It was watched over by five guardians until the transformation was complete. The heart was no longer needed, so to keep it safe, the five guardians sealed it in a chamber somewhere in the mountains. You need five keys to get in. The keys are of leadership, wealth, wisdom, strength, and shelter. If he attacked Borwald, it was undoubtedly to get one of those keys. Please, have a seat in the main room, and I'll call a meeting to inform the others. Could everyone come in here and have a seat? We have a problem. There's not enough stew for everyone. I was making the stew, and there's not enough stew. What's wrong, Agnar? Ingvar has attacked Borvald. What? Why are we sitting here, then? We must go help defend Borvald. It's gone. Gentlemen, it is too late. He has too many men. We would simply be marching to our deaths. Borvald is lost. That son of a bitch! Our ancestors built that town 600 years ago. He has destroyed a part of our history. <sighs> it's just like you to get about stupid buildings. What about those living in the city? Stupid buildings? Certainly many innocent people died today. They are who? Please, we must not do this. Ingvar has killed many of our innocent kinsmen, as well as destroying our heritage. Why would he do such a thing? Based on what our friend here found out, he is going for the heart of the gods. Divine save us. He attacked the city to get the key of shelter. And he may now be going for the other keys as well. We have to get the keys before he does. If Ingvar gets the heart of the gods, he will be immortal. We must stop him. I thought the heart was just a myth. A legend. So did I. But if he attacked Borval just to get the key, it must be real. The keys have purpose after all. Where can we get the other ones then? Some are more obvious than others. Yalma, come here. What is it, Agnar? Your necklace, please. You don't mean... Yes, my dear. Thank you. It was passed down to each generation of Borvaldur women, so that it would remain safe. So then, we have one key. Great, but what about the others? Well... Ingvar cut the key of shelter from Borvald. 
The key of wealth was held in Stalgard, so count that one out. We have the key of leadership. So then all we need are the keys of wisdom and strength. Exactly. The question is, where are they? I think I may know where they are. The key of wisdom would be held by the court wizards. It should be in our old monastery, Karun. Oh, I discovered that. The key of strength was held by the Hjorgenas. It was most likely locked in the crypts of Hjorgenar Manor when they left. Ha! <laughs> then what are we waiting for? Let's get those keys. Very well. We'll split up to save time. Thorlo, you come with me to Call Rune Monastery. Okay. And you two go to Jorgunner Manor. <laughs> yes, my Jarl. We'll meet back here when we have the keys. Let's go, Svegoth. Alright. I almost stole the goblet. I almost hit E to stand up, but no, it was on the goblet. If Alsgar has some. You must make hit. a choice. Help Ulgar and Svegar get the key of strength from Jorgunner Manor. <clears throat> or help me and Brother Thorlo get the key of wisdom from Gol Rune Monastery. What's the difference? Why can't I help get both keys? Because we don't have the time. If Ingvar gets all of the keys and knows where the heart is, he will be unstoppable. We have to try to get as many keys as we can before he does. What's the difference? Well, in the manor you will probably fight Draugr. So that will be best fit for yeah, those who favor melee weapons or bows. Coal Rune Monastery, I believe, has been taken over by necromancers. So those who are inclined to magic would fare best against them. Then again, it probably does not matter. Meet up with the Hyogenars, or with you and Brother Thurlow. Got it. Good. Now go! We must beat Ingvar to those keys! Well, I wanted to find... Hyogenar Manor anyway. Ready to so get it the all key. works out. Tell Do you need something? Why did your family leave Hyogenar Manor? Our great-grandfather was looking for a change of pace. The Borvalders had made my family very wealthy. <coughs> barons of a great estate. However, in the war a hundred years ago, the estate was sacked one night. My great-grandfather took the opportunity to start fresh. He found a nice plot of land north of Amber Creek, and he rebuilt from nothing. It's in that cabin that our family has lived since. But we remember our oath. In times of war and treachery, we are to serve as the king's housecarls and defend him with our lives. All right. See you. Yeah, we're gonna help the Hyogenars. 